Hi, welcome to Planet POS channel. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create an effective seating layout in Adello POS. So let's get started. Go to back office, setup, table setup, and dine in table groups. This allows you to section certain groups in your restaurant. Um, so if let's say you have like a bar, a main dine in and a patio, then you can use three groups. Um, so it gives you up to 10 groups to create. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a few groups just to show you. Main dine-in, patio, bar, private. Okay, so once that's done, you just click close and go back to setup, table setup, dine-in tables. And you can start designing your seating layout here. Um, I would choose um, the patio. So you make sure you're in the right table group before you start designing. So I'm just gonna start in the patio and I can just select any empty grid and create my names. So I'm just gonna call this P1. And this basically tells you how many seats are available um, for this particular table. So I, I'm gonna say you can see seat four in this table. You can select a picture. And right here is the filters. So um, you can filter this table as a smoking section or near windows. And this just basically allows you to filter it later on if customers have certain preferences of where they wanna be seated, then um, you'll be able to filter these seats out. Um, so I'm just gonna put that. Okay, so I'm gonna design another one. Now that I've created all the different tables, um, you can scroll through the different groups just to double check on everything. Um, and then you can move the tables if you need to, to suit your layout of your store. So using your mouse, just right click um, and then drag. So just right click, hold and drag to move the tables. And if you need to include more tables, just go ahead and repeat uh, the steps on clicking on an empty grid. So I can just go through each group to make sure they're in the correct position. Okay, so once that's done, just go back to the POS and check on the table groups. So here you can scroll through each group and then I'll show you how the filter looks like. So the filter is right here, filter table. Um, you can click smoking section, so this one doesn't have it. Near tables or near windows, my sorry. I'm sorry, booth seating or private seating. So if it matches the filter, then it would flash. Okay, so bar. Private lounge. There's three booth seatings, one near the window. And that's pretty much it. So, and once you select a table, it'll ask you to enter a total number of guests. And from there, you can start creating your orders. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to create hibachi tables. Um, if your restaurant does not use hibachi table, you can totally skip this part this section of the tutorial. Um, but if you want to learn, by all means, keep following along. 
Um, so right here, I already created um, six tables and they're all bridged together. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to create it. So I'm gonna select an empty grid here. I'm gonna call this H8. Select Hibachi table and then create the style. So depending on how your uh, Hibachi tables are located or uh, arranged in your restaurant, um, that's how you can create it. So I'm just gonna create a vertical top and then right here is basically the section of your uh, hibachi table and then each section can have um, different numbers of seats so let's start with the left side i'm just going to do four then the top part seats three and then to the right side four okay and then done and then on let's see vertical top okay so since that's the vertical top i'm going to go down here and i'm going to create a vertical bottom so select a bunch of table, vertical bottom, and now you see here the icon of the table. And then the left side, I'm gonna say you can seat four, the bottom three, the right four. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bridge these two tables together. So H8 and H9. So I'm gonna click H8, and then if you have additional seats that you want to bridge to it as well, then you can select here. If not, then you don't have to. So I'm just going to click done. Make sure H8 is also bridged to H9, just so when you select that table, you'll see the, the connection for the both tables. Um, so I'm going to click done. And now that's done. I'm going to go back to the main point of cell to show you how it looks like. So I'm going to go to dine in. I'm going to click on H8. So right now I'm in the Hibachi group, table group. Click H8. Okay. If you want to bridge it, then you can say yes. It's just an option to do so. If you're not going to bridge it to tables, if it's just like a small gathering and you don't need to bridge both tables, then you can just click no. So I'm going to click yes just to show you. Um, so we have both tables here. As you can see, um, the four seats on both sides, and then the bottom is three seats. And then if you wanted to bridge additional seats, um, that could have been done so in the back office as well. Um, so that's how you create it. And then just select an uh, empty seat and start taking your order.